everyone. Good morning, Gretchen. Good morning. I am Pip's mom, Emily, and this is his assistant, Gretchen. Um, it is day 17 of our quarantine. Yes. Yeah, so how are you feeling? I'm doing great this morning. I like you feel good. Well, that's good. Pip's very excited, as you can see, and um, he has his crab hat on again. If you missed our episode the other day, uh, we made a joke that um, he could wear this uh, in May um, to trick Beach Patrol into thinking he was a crab so that he would be allowed on the beach. Uh, because as you know, the social distancing guidelines have been extended, and so by the time Pip is gonna be allowed on the beach, uh, well, he's not gonna be allowed on the yeah. beach, right? Because no yeah. animals after May 1st. But we forgot the other day when Pip had it on to say thank you, thank you, thank you to our friend Adeline, one of our most favorite fans, who sent this to him. So thank you so much. Thank you. We're gonna let him, there we go. Let his little ears breathe a little, but we wanted to put it back on him just so we could send a special thank you out to Adeline, right? Thank you, Adeline. All right, so it is Tuesday, March 31st. It's our last day of March. Yes. Yeah. So that's interesting, right? <laughs> um, we, of course, if it's uh, your first time joining us, we have a bell here, and if Pip rings it, he gets a treat. You'll also see that we've brought Pip's little coffee mug back, so he's got his own little water. I've got coffee, and Gretchen has hot chocolate. Um, someone said uh, recently, you guys, have, um, you guys have cats and your favorite things on your coffee mugs. Pip needs a coffee mug with his favorite thing. That's cool. uh, yes, and so um, if you can see, yes, Pip, yes. If you can see, Pip's little espresso cup has little birds on it. And it's as, so cute. And as we know, um, Pip loves, loves, loves birds. And if anybody's wondering, I got this. It was hand-painted in Peru. I went years ago um, to do the Inca Trail um, up to Machu Picchu. So that's so neat. Yeah, it was really neat. You know, back in my younger years. <laughs> okay, so it is Tuesday, like we said. Um, we're gonna do a travel Tuesday segment. Talk a little bit about our trip to Poland. Uh, we're also going to do day two of our tips for tricks. Um, so sort of teaching you how we got Pip to do um, his little tricks that he does. And then we have a new website article for you, uh, some fan mail to do, question of the day, and our joke, of course. Um, so let's start out with Gretchen's Words of Wisdom. Thank you, everybody. Here's a... Say Say excuse whistle. me, Pip. <laughs> if you would have more people like you, it would be a better place. You do make a difference. Thank you all for helping each other to stay home and stay well. Thank you. That's great, Gretchen. And I, I do think that it's going to become increasingly harder to stay at home and to isolate ourselves like this, right? Yes. Um, but talking about your feelings, like their cat told us yesterday, is really important. And uh, also just doing something a little silly and a little fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my video from... Uh, a few days ago um, on our Instagram stories, but Pip was licking a little ice cream cone. And so we had to drive up to Baltimore to rescue our plants that are at our place up there. Because as you'll remember, we got a place in Baltimore because we were supposed to have events there every weekend this spring, and we needed somewhere to stay. And um, clearly, we have not needed that house at all. <laughs> so that's been interesting. Uh, but we did have plants there, and so we drove up just to get them and come right back. And we didn't go to the store. We didn't, you know, we didn't go anywhere. But um, we were sitting on the couch and we were very sad. And all of a sudden we heard an ice cream man little sound. And so I sent Jack out and he got us all a little ice cream cone. And if you know me, I probably haven't had ice cream in, like real dairy ice cream in years. I mean years. Uh, so it was very nice to just have something small. And for a few minutes it felt special, you know? I felt it good. Um, so think of something that you haven't done in a long time that, you know, might might feel a little special and try to do that, right? That's right. So you need to think of something for you to do, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right. Great words of wisdom, Gretchen. Thank you so much. Um, let's get into our Travel Tuesday. Um, Pip, Gretchen, me, and Pip's dad, Jack, all went to Poland. So I'm going to tell a little bit of my side of the story, but I'm going to let Gretchen start with her favorite part of the trip. Uh, my favorite part of Poland was um, 
Emily and I went to the cat cafe one morning and we had hot chocolate and I had um, a little ice cream sundae with ice cream, chocolate ice cream and oh boy it was to die for. <laughs> and I got to play with all the cats there and look at all the cats that are waiting for their forever homes. <laughs> yeah, and we actually, um, we may be back in Poland for Christmas, of course, because we haven't been for Christmas in a long time, and Gretchen asked if she could come just to go to the other cat cafe in Krakow that we didn't get to go to. Uh, so, real quickly, um, of course, you know, Pip had a lot of fun seeing the sights in Poland. Uh, one of the main reasons, you know, it's not like we all picked up our lives and we're like, let's go on a Polish vacation, right? Uh, one of the main reasons we all went was to go to the dentist. The dentist in Poland is very affordable, and it's actually cheaper for us to all fly there and get our dental work done than it is to get it done here. Um, so Pip's dad went to the dentist probably, what, eight times? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was there almost every day. And um, if you see him this summer, you, know, you can look at how great his smile looks now, right? Yeah. He got it all fixed up. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons we went. And I think people, you know, they don't really know that. And I just wanted to give some behind the scenes scoop there that we have all of our doctors in Poland. I see uh, an orthopedic specialist that looks at, you know, my knees and my hips and things like that. I get sonograms and x-rays and it's completely private and I pay like $20. And the doctor that I have there is one of my favorite people in the entire world. Um, he always takes great care of me. So uh, if you ever have any questions about that, be happy to answer them. Yes, Pip. Hello. Hello, Pip. What do you want? So with that, I think our little Pip is ready to give you day two of his tips and tricks. As you know, yesterday Pip's dad taught you that the first step in training is to get a little clicker and every time you click it, give your cat a treat. Of course, he stressed not to rush this process to sort of click and treat click and treat, and then um, wait some time and, and do it again later. So throughout the day, you know, you're clicking and you're treating, and now day two, I believe he's going to move on to um, the next step. So let's see what Pip's dad has to say. trick that you want him to perform and then reward him. You should start with something simple like give him a give me a paw. Paw and click. So obviously Pep right now is chased so he knows when I show him paw he will give me immediately. But at the very beginning he did not know that. He didn't know what to do. So I was like Pip Pip paw paw and I was clicking like crazy and then I was giving him a treat. At the beginning I've been rewarding him for everything he did that was towards the paw. Raising his paw, even kind of looking at me, was a very baby steps. So Pip at the big, like he picked it, picked it up real quick and he, he gave me a paw right away, but the other tricks were more difficult, it took a little bit more time. Uh, so at some point I, sta I stopped rewarding him for just an effort, but the, for act, and I was rewarding him only for the thing he actually Perform. So I would, I would perform. I would reward him only for giving a giving a high five, not not just for the effort. All right. And since Pip is still dressed up as a crab right now, we'll go ahead and do our website promo. Uh, so yesterday we announced our new website, which is Pip's Guide to Ocean City .com. We're going to be taking everything from his written um, and illustrated guidebooks and turning it into sort of a digital companion. For everything Ocean City, adults and kids alike, um, sort of a way to bring everybody together with a lot of information. Uh, and day two, we are going to be uh, premiering our article called How to Dig for Sand Crabs. Do you know how to dig for sand crabs? No. You don't? You gotta read my article then. Okay. So if you got kids and you're coming to the beach, um, be sure to let them read this article. 
there are some pictures, a little video, and things like that, and it gives you all the steps for how to dig for sand crabs. Thank Never you. heard of sand crabs? Go ahead and look them up. They're um, little teeny crabs that we have here in Ocean City, and they, do they bite? No. What do they do? They just tickle. They tickle. You're right. Um, all right, cool. So that's our website uh, post today. We'll try to be doing one every single day. All right, so something a little bit silly that we have for today, um, a new segment called... Let's check Pip's Teeth Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am obsessed with uh, when we get little foster kittens, I check their mouth every day. Uh, I love watching their little teeth grow in, and then towards the end of when they stay with us, they um, lose their little baby teeth, and their, their big adult teeth grow in, and I've actually found some of the teeth which maybe is weird, but I have, um, I have some, I have some little kitten teeth, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I always am checking Pip's mouth, and I noticed before we went to Poland that uh, he, well, he had really bad breath, right? Yeah. And so I said to the vet while we were getting him checked to go to, to go to Europe, I said, can you check his teeth? Because I'm really concerned about his breath. And so they checked him, and they said, oh, it's totally normal, like, it's fine. So I said, okay. So I got this plaque away um, treats and I started giving them to Pip and they've gotten all the plaque away and his breath smells amazing like not even stinky it used to be if he yawned I mean you would know in the next room it was like oh my gosh Pip just yawned right I mean it was yeah. smelly uh, so I got him these treats and um, everything seemed good but then I noticed that his teeth were sort of spreading apart and getting kind of long. It was very strange. Well, anyway, I checked them this weekend, and Pip has lost a tooth. Really? Yeah, he lost a front tooth. So I wanted to show everybody Pip's little missing tooth. Um, we, you know, we had his teeth checked, so everything seems okay. It might just be because he likes to chew and weird things. Um, but we will be checking his teeth every uh, Tuesday to see uh, if they change. But, um, yeah, here's a little look inside Pip's mouth for uh, Pip's, what did I call it? Pip's Tooth Tuesday. That's right. All right. And then I think it's time for fan mail. Oh, we know who this is from. The Quilt Squad. And it says, hi, Pip. You know how I like to help my mom with her quilting. So I decided to send you one of her quilting cards. Keep up the good work. We both enjoy you. Agnes and her mom, Ruth. We also have a beautiful picture of Agnes here. We'll show to everybody. We love these guys. They are all the way from Iowa. That's a long way. That is a long way. It's a super long way. We just sent out today um, probably 50 responses. So if you've sent us fan mail, uh, it is on its way back to you. Not, I mean, not the mail. Our, our responses are on the way back to you. All right. Let's check this one out. Oh, this card is so cute. Oh, angel. Pip, it's a cat making a, a snow angel in the sand. A sand angel. Yes. All right. Hi, Pip. My name is Danielle, and I live in Baltimore. I don't have a furry friend at the moment, but have some friends and family who would love to hear from you. I grew up with kittens and miss my last kitty, Peanut, uh, dearly. Her brothers are alive and well, and I see them all the time. They would love to hear from you. Their mom, Courtney, introduced me to your uh, account. They can be found at Hippo and Bandit, and of course their address, which we won't be reading on air. Um, my friend, Kate. My friend Kate also has a kitty, and her name is Straza because her dad is Italian. She is a fluff ball and is very sassy, but also snuggly and sweet. Are you snuggly and sweet? No. Yeah, that little hit on the head kind of says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Lastly, my parents live in Pennsylvania, and they have two cats, Lily and Luna. Uh, thank you for doing this. I know it will bring a smile to everyone's faces. I'm a doctor here in Baltimore. Yay. Shout out to all of our doctors and nurses. Thank shout you out, all. Shout out. I hope you've been washing your paws frequently. Stay safe and your humans too. Thanks, Pip. Danielle. So uh, we sent out letters to all those guys. Thank you yeah, all. So thank you so much. Thank you for all the hard work you're doing as a doctor out there. Um, we appreciate all of our doctors and nurses, all of our people still working. All you guys work on the clock and everything. All of our people at our nursing homes. Um, oh, look. Someone... How cute Aww. is that? They did the little Pip open mouth sticker so I can open it with that. Ooh. All right. Hi, Pip. You are so cute. We have a cat, too. His name is Jackson, and my name is Trip. Love, Trip. Well, Trip, thank you so much for this cute little letter. 
you actually are my grandma's neighbor. So Pip is right by your house all the time. He lives right next door to Graham. Oh, he does, mm -hmm. Pip. Yeah. Hey, you met him? I think once we, we hand delivered a package, but I don't think he knows that it was us. I think he might have thought I was a post person, postman, not in a uniform. <laughs> so Trip, that was us that day. Thank you. Yes, Pip, this is time for your next letter. Dear Pip, I think you are the best, fluffiest cat in town. I can't believe you're the famous cat. We come to Ocean City every year in August. I saw you last year when I came. I want to see you this year too, if we can, because of the you know what, which I hope has passed by then. I had a little sister in January. Her name is Oakley, mine is Kaylee. So you might get to see her this year. I can't wait to see your letter, bye. My address is, and this is from Kaylee, right? Yeah. So Kaylee, I know that it's a very confusing time right now because we don't know, um, yes, Pip. We don't know what our summer is going to be like, but I talked to Pip and he told me to tell you that no matter what happens, we will always be here for you if you have any questions about what's going on, um, if you have any concerns, and also let you know that if for some reason you can't see Pip this summer, he will be here all winter and all next summer um, to do lots and lots of visits, right? That's right. So just because some things are changing right now doesn't mean that they'll change forever. And I think that we need to remember that this is just a temporary change and you have a little sister named Oakley to take care of. And so I know you can be a really strong, big sister and take care of that new little one and make sure that um, you're helping your mom, right? Because uh, babies are hard, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and so we wish you a lot of luck. We've got a letter already on the way out to you. And we just want you to know that we are thinking of you and your entire family, okay? Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I think we'll get to these another day. We've got our whole pile here for the week. Um, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. And it is uh, regarding our costumes that we get for Pip. So yesterday he was in his little super Pip costume. And someone said, yes you were. Someone said, where, where do you get them from? And so um, we have a lot of costumes that Pip doesn't actually fit in anymore. But when he was teeny tiny, and um, not quite a baby kitten, but not quite an adult. Uh, he could fit into um, extra small and small dog costumes. So we'd get him a lot of dog clothes. And we also could fit him into newborn baby clothes. So if you guys remember his robe that he wears sometimes, um, which might still fit. We've got it here somewhere. We'll have to put it on him. Uh, his robe is actually for a newborn. And it's from like a photo shoot for a newborn. <laughs> it's a little goofy thing, yeah. And uh, now that he's a little bit bigger, we're more in the medium to large um, size, more medium, I guess, uh, dog size clothes. And so that's what he um, what he wears. And and we usually, um, you know, we try to go to Petco or PetSmart or somewhere like that uh, at the end of a season and get the things on clearance and then save them for the next year. So we've already got all of our Christmas outfits picked out. Um, but you know, and, and Pip just always wore costumes, he was always very good at that, but we also made sure that, you know, if, if Pip is ever, let's say, quote unquote, working, right, um, so he's wearing a hat, or he's wearing a jacket, or something like that, uh, we always make sure that he's getting a treat, so that he knows, you know, you wear this costume for me, you get a bunch of chicken and tuna, and then he actually wants to do it, and it, it makes it more enjoyable for everyone, everybody's happy, including Pip, um, we never keep him in anything for too long. And obviously, if he doesn't like it, he lets us know, right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see. Gretchen, do you have a joke for us? Yes. All right, take us out with a joke. What is the name for a cat who steals a quarter of pounders? What? A cat burglar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, you heard it here first. A cat burger blur. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> These jokes are becoming, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hilarious. At? So hilarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I know, Pip, it's the end of the show and you get the rest of your treats. So, it's okay. Ah! <laughs> um, anything else? I don't have anything else. All right, all we've got then is 
Stay Pepsi! All right, Pep. You got a huge chunk today. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you got it? Should we share some with Carly and Lily? Carly and Lily! Carly and Lily! If they come, they'll get some. Well, we'll have to see who gains more weight during this quarantine. Yeah. You and me or Pip. <laughs> I think it's going to be sure. Pip. <laughs> good job, Pip. Good job. Does that taste good? Yeah. All right. And it's gone. Want to ring us out? Go ahead. One last ring, Pip. One last ring. <laughs>